What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in in today's video we are going to compare the default gallery application on One UI with the default gallery application on Xiaomi's MIUI. So recently I've started comparing these operating systems or let's say skins. Uh, I have started comparing the One UI with MIUI and I have plans to add more uh, skins in the future. Uh, I have already done few comparisons between these two operating systems in terms of its animations and theme customization. If you miss them, go ahead and check them out. I will leave the links in the description. This will give you an idea on what other OEMs are offering. If you are a MIUI user, you will get to know what Samsung is offering in terms of software. And if you are a One UI user, you will get to know what MIUI is offering in terms of software experience. So that is the whole idea about this. Now what we will do is let's go ahead and open the gallery application and let's see what these two applications offer. Here I've got Note 20 Ultra on the left hand side and I've got Xiaomi's Mi 11X Pro on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and open both the applications here. As you can see the layout is very clean in both these skins. Uh, we have got pictures, albums, stories and a menu button at the bottom on One UI which is pretty much reachable whereas on MIUI gallery app we have got photos and albums on the top and we have got a menu button right there on the top right corner so you will definitely have to use two hands to access that. Now let me just press and hold on a particular file here and let's see what happens. As you can see I have got few options at the bottom on both these devices. I have got share here on One UI and we also have send option here on MIUI. I've got delete option and more option. Similarly, we've got delete option on MIUI and we've got something called creativity and we also have an option add to album. Of course, even on One UI, when you tap on more, we get more options here. We can copy to album, we can move to album, we can select all the images and videos, which is also there here on the top right corner in MIUI. Uh, then we've got create option, add tag option and move to secure folder option. So these features are very advanced feature which are offered on uh, One UI. We've got secure folder where we can move these files. We've got tags so it becomes very easy to search the images or videos when you add or create tags. And we also have an option to create which is similar to creativity here on MIUI. We're going to see that in a bit. Uh, then we've got select all options on One UI. We've got move to album. We've got copy to album. So here on uh, MIUI we only have add to album option right here. Right now let's tap on create option here on One UI and let's tap on creativity option on MIUI. As you can see, we've got highlight reel creation, movie, GIF, and collage on One UI, whereas on uh, MIUI, it says magic, art, video effects, collage, clip, video editor. Let's tap on highlight reel. As you can see, we can create a short highlight reel here. We can add some background music or text and create a quick highlight reel using this feature on One UI. Then we have got movie option, which is of course uh, creating a movie. We actually have some advanced editing options on One UI. We can add video clips here by tapping on this plus button. We can also create transition effects between these clips and we can also move the clips around. Then we have options to add text, add background music. And if you want to trim a particular clip, you can also do that. So this is a very advanced editing option we have on One UI. Now let's tap on video editor in Xiaomi's Mi UI. As you can see, it says I cannot edit an image because this is a video editor and I'm not able to create a video by adding images to it. Whereas on One UI, it allows us to add the images also into the video clips, which is fantastic. So what we'll do is we will open a video file on MIUI. Now let's tap on creativity and video editor. As you can see, we have got all the tools at the bottom over here. We've got templates and uh, now let's tap on editor. Here we will be able to add the video clips and we will be able to trim the video clips as well. This is cool. Uh, now let's tap on speed. We have got 3, 2, 0 0.5, 0 0.25 as well as the normal 1x speed. We do have reverse option here. We also have delete here. So if you want to add another video clip, you can just tap on this plus button to add the video clip. But we cannot add images here. Whereas on One UI, we can add images to the video clip. That is a cool feature on One UI, which is missing in Xiaomi's Mi UI. Now let's go back. We've got filters here. And then we have captions. We can add titles here. Uh, we can also add soundtrack. And then we have aspect ratio option as well. 
So here on MIUI, the editing tool is pretty good and this is also quite advanced, but the only missing feature here is adding an image into a video clip. That is something which I would love to see here. All right, now let's go back. Again, let's tap and select a particular image here. Let's go to create on One UI and let's go to creativity on MIUI. Here we saw highlight reel, movie. We can also create GIF. We all know what GIF is. And then we have got collage option on One UI, which we all know. Now uh, on MIUI, we have got something called magic. Let me just show you this. Now using this feature, we will be able to change the entire background of a portrait image. As you can see, if I select this image, automatically it will carve out the image and then I can select the background that I want. As you can see, the results are pretty good. I can easily change the background of a particular portrait image. We do have similar kind of a feature on a Samsung's camera application where we can change our background when we are taking a selfie through some FX feature. But in the gallery application, this is a pretty advanced feature that we have on Xiaomi's MIUI. Kudos to them for offering such a nice feature here. Now let's go back. We've got an option called Art here. Again, this is going to apply some kind of an effect or filters on the images. Let's go back. Here we have Collage option. And we also have an option called Clip. When I tap on this, it says Clip can contain 3 to 20 photos. So what it's going to do is it's going to combine those photos and make a video clip sort of a thing. Now the last feature is video effects. This is again a fantastic feature offered on MIUI. Let me show you what exactly this does. Actually, all these options are also available in this three dots menu. So let me show you video effects in that particular menu. Let me tap on these three dots here. As you can see, we've got video editor, collage, clip, magic, art, which we have already seen. And we also have video effects here. Let me tap on this. So this is exactly what it is going to do. So only portrait videos can be edited using this feature. If you're into dancing or something, you can apply this kind of uh, effects on your video clip. That is just amazing. We don't have this on One UI. It would be great if Samsung could offer this. Some of you guys might be interested in this kind of a feature. May not be all of us, right? But anyways, that would be a cool addition if Samsung's One UI is going to offer this particular feature. Let's tap on share on One UI and let's tap on send option on MIUI. As you can see, this is what we are going to see on both these skins. Uh, we directly get to see uh, the sending options here on One UI. We have got link sharing, nearby share, quick share. I'm not going to touch upon this because these are all separate features on One UI. Uh, on MIUI, we just have me share option and of course the printer option and all the other application. And then we also have nearby share option, which is the default Android feature. On top, we have got remove location data. This is on One UI, and we also have the similar feature in the settings option. Now, if you can see on MIUI's gallery app, we get this option to slide these images and select whichever images we want. Whereas on One UI, we don't get that option. So this is a very handy feature which we have on MIUI. So once you select a particular image and tap on send, we get this slider, we can select more images right from here instead of going back to the gallery like on the One UI. That is a nice feature. Now let's tap on the menu button here on One UI. We have got this hamburger menu at the bottom right corner. Uh, we have got this three dot button on the top right corner on MIUI. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have got same options in this list as well. We have got video editor, collage, clip, magic, art, video effects, free up space option, and then settings option. Uh, so these are all the features that we have already seen. Whereas on One UI, we have got a couple of added options here. We've got video section. When you tap on this, it is going to show you all the videos that you have in the gallery app. We've got favorites. If you have set any favorite images or videos, it is going to show up over here. Then we have recent. So all the recently viewed images and videos will be shown up here. Then we have got a feature called suggestions. We also have an option to sort the images by location. Then we have got shared album. This is a specific feature offered on One UI. We can actually share the albums with others. Uh, once you give an access to the family members or friends to see the same images or videos which you have on your gallery, they will get to see all that on their device as well. So that is a fantastic feature offered on One UI. Then we have got recycle bin. Then comes the settings option. Let's tap on settings and let's tap on settings on MIUI. On MIUI settings, we can see sync with the cloud option right on top. We can turn it on or off right here. Uh, it will sync all your images and videos with the cloud 
service offered by Xiaomi. And then we've got select best photos option. MIUI will analyze similar photos and mark best shots for you. Turn this feature off to remove marks from photos. So this is another feature that we have here. Then we've got view hidden albums feature. So we have an option to hide the albums here on MIUI as well as on OneUI. Uh, then we've got show each slides for three seconds or you can change the timings as well. So you can increase or decrease the seconds. We have an option to loop all the slides as well. Then we've got secure sharing. When you tap on this, you can see share without location info by default, share without metadata by default. We have got share without location info by default, even on the gallery application on One UI. And then we see this option to convert HEIF to JPEG before sending. This is a feature which will convert HEIF images to JPEG to ensure compatibility. So these are the options that we get in gallery settings on MIUI, whereas on One UI we have got loads of advanced features which offers loads of functionalities. We have got Cloud Sync on the top, then we have got full screen scrolling option, we have got auto play motion photos, then auto create stories, customization service. Then we have got notifications, recycle bin, show place names, convert HIE of images when sharing. Again, the same feature which we saw on MIUI. Then we have got convert HDR 10 plus videos when sharing. This is of course this device specific feature. Then we have got privacy policy about gallery contact us. But the most advanced feature that we are going to get here in Samsung's gallery application is under gallery labs. This gallery labs is not available by default on One UI. We obviously have to enable it by going to about gallery and tapping this version number multiple times. Uh, once you enable this, we get this option gallery labs. Here we got some advanced features. We've got film strip in viewer option, video seek on film strip in viewer option, viewer and details renewal, dynamic space between photo, video preview on picture list, show trash storage info, timeline in album, timeline in video favorite album, timeline in search album, advanced video player, play next video automatically, pinch zoom with video viewer, cloud video preview, pinch zoom with motion photo video, dual photo preview only, Android image decoder, show exif in details. Loads of customization features are available in Samsung's gallery labs. If you are a MIUI user and if you want to know more about this, I have made few videos about the gallery application on the channel. You can go through all of them. Now, if I go on explaining these, the video is going to be really lengthy. So let's leave it here. These are some of the advanced features which we have on Samsung's gallery application. And definitely the gallery application on One UI is much more superior and advanced compared to Xiaomi's MIUI. But it does not mean Xiaomi is not offering enough features or enough options. Uh, the gallery application, the editing options and some of the unique features or some of the unique editing options on MIUI's gallery application is just fantastic. A few of the unique features are not really available on One UI, which makes Xiaomi's MIUI stand out. Having said all this, Samsung's One UI's gallery application is very, very advanced is what I can say, but you can let me know your thoughts about the gallery application on One UI and MIUI in the comment section below. Go ahead and share your thoughts. Let's discuss. And if you're new on the channel, make sure you subscribe to watch some cool contents like this in the future and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.